Hello everyone, this is the voice of GWNFX. Technically, we are going to be looking at the USD card and the situation with USD card, alright? What we could identify in this week, we spoke about this when market was here, that I want to see the market actually making a push to the upside, alright? Because after this completion of the wave 5, what we expect to see of the market is the correction, alright? So after the wave 5, what we want to see is a 3 wave correction to the downside, alright? So we are going to apply the law of proportion into this trade all right and i'm not at liberty to speak or say much about that but what i can tell you or what i can show to you will be purely technical all right now let's go down to the daily time frame to see what kind of passion we are having on the daily time frame and how we can actually take advantage and be part of the trade all right first we had it that this we had an information all right so what we wanted to see after the information was a retail so we had an information all right and what we wanted to see was the retest of the neckline all right so the, the retest of the neckline actually came and we saw this retest here and which was a good position to be after then we actually spoke with the students about where and how we are going to be involved in this trade okay what we wanted to see what we want to see with the students is actually this trade actually starting to form a three wave move to the upside all right before then continuing to form the overall three wave move to the downside okay right what we want to be seeing first we understand with the student that first we want to be seeing that this is a zero and first we understand that this is our a point but we want to see a much higher b point before we can start expecting a c point instead of this area all right that's what we expect to see with the student and um, we spoke about this um pay a couple of times and for the students back at the academy we understand that the law of proportion in an elliot wave setup states that for an impulse to, to take five bars of the daily candle to form the correction to at least take up to eight bars or nine bars or ten bars to form a correction all right a correction move is actually a choppy slow price action so what we can see clearly that we have this first move to the downside which was a very strong move all right so we understand that an Elliott um, wave consists of fractals all right so we can then change our chart to a line chart and then try to see what we are trying to on um about here so first we can understand that this is our zero point and our a b c all right so what we expect to see of the market is um another a b c to the upside so we have a zero point to our a so we expect our b to terminate uh, instead of this area for a c to form to the upside to complete the b of the overall correction to downside all right this might actually not actually making sense to the non-students but for the students back in the academy they actually have a clear understanding because of the education which they have received in the academy all right so what we wanted to see at the moment that if we should go down to a line chart we can see that this is a clear level of structure in the market and that is where we are looking to actually start looking for reaction in the market all right this is a clear level of structure that and why is this structure so so important to us and why do we want to see price actually making a turn from this point okay so if you use your fibonacci tool you will understand that applying your fibonacci tool from the swing high Okay, from the swing low to the swing high, you, you clearly see that this area here, all right, aligns perfectly with the 78.6 Fibonacci level, all right? So let's bring back the Fibonacci and let's see what we have, all right? So let's bring back all the Fibonacci and um, apply them correctly. So this zone here applies, um, correspond and less better with the 78.6, all right? For those students actually not in the academy that can actually be start drawing um harmonic um scanners whatever some sort of nonsense all right that is not a problem all right because here in the student we teach people students purely price action all right and how to actually identify an earlier setup and apply it correctly all right so this is an area which we wanted to see a reaction and we spoke about this on sunday during my pre-market session they want to be seeing market starting a reversal from this zone on Wednesday and tomorrow we are going to be looking at reaction inside of the market to be involved in a long to completing this push to the upside which is um, 0 to A and this is our expected B and we expect to see the C to the upside so why do we expect to see C to the upside all right so if we would if we go straight and apply our Fibonacci if you take um if you want to have details of an impulse or what all right if you have want to have an intel of um, details of an impulse or what you, where you want to see if price actually want to start to reverse 
you use a Fibonacci from the swing high to the swing low. Okay, you want to have an information of a correction. You want to take a Fibonacci from the swing low to the swing high. All right. So what you want to be getting with um an information of an import. Okay, so we take our Fibonacci from the swing high to the swing low, and you can see clearly that this area of structure aligned perfectly with the one two thousand Fibonacci level. All right, beautiful. So that's um confluence. So you want to be seeing confluence in the market. Actually, market actually aligning with the um reaction. All right. So it's actually a good position to because if you should use our line chart one, we can clearly identify that this area here aligned better with the neckline. So what happened here was just a spike actually but it really hit our tech profit then and we want to actually look for opportunities to really be involved in this trade all right so technically as um, a notation i will look only to buy the usd card from this point to the upside all right so all this is a correction which i expect and you can see that price actually done this um head and shoulders all right so some sort of um reaction or whatever someone might actually be seen on h4 but that's um, stay for another. So what we want to be seeing is some sort of reaction inside of this area for a push to the upside, and from there we can then um, look to go long on from this point to the upside. Okay. So let's uh, quickly go to the H4 and see what kind of pressure we are having from the H4. But technically, looking at the chart at the moment, everything looks good for now. So we're not be taking price action. We want to be seeing price slowing down. We want to be seeing price actually committing to us before we can commit to the market so uh we're going down to the h4 and see what kind of price action we have it and what kind of structure we have it on the market from the h4 perspective okay beautiful so from the h4 we had it that price actually came into this zone and since then actually stalled around this area so what we want to be seeing and how we can identify that the market has a great interest of committing to us before we can commit to the market first we want to see this trend line being taken up and before then we can uh before that trend line we can clearly see that the market was trading in some sort of a channel all right i like to speak with the students and let them understand that a correction um is actually a choppy slow price action all right so you want to be seeing a corrective wave or a corrective uh movement is actually enclosed in a channel all right so whenever you find market action or price action being enclosed in a channel that is definitely a corrective wave all right that's definitely a correction of the prime move all right so the bigger move is to the upside all right so um as an addition and what we teach the students you under, they understand everything but what i'm what i'm explaining so what we want to be doing and what actually um others that are not in the game they can actually be look to actually taking advantage one you want to be seeing price actually break above this structure here so you want to be seeing this trend line actually being broken and once that can happen we actually look to open a trade with the right risk to reward inside of this area for the push to the upside so this will be a very perfect trade if you can have a push from this area to break in above here we actually open it a, a buy trade while our risk will be here for a target of the upside okay so this will be um a one is to three risk to reward trade and which is a very beautiful trade and a very good position to be trading the market all right so i look forward to be seeing you and hearing from you on the comment section on what you think of this analysis thank you very much you see the voice of Julian fx remain blessed